We gave out two winners on the Broncos and Saints Thursday night football game. Let's see if we can do it again here with the Patriots and the Jaguars in London. Welcome, everyone. I'm Andy from Wager Talk. We're going to break down this London game. And looking at the Wager Talk live odds page, you've got the uh, Patriots getting six points with the total sitting at 42. I've got a player prop and I've got an opinion on the total. So let's get into it. Um, we're going to give you a special for a uh, big long-term package uh, at a really, really deep discount. That's at the end. So take advantage of that. Before we get started, hit the like button. Really helps the algorithm out. Give me a best bet in the comment section. Uh, if you don't have a hot take, just try, type the word straw. S-T-R-A-W. Really helps me out. Let's wager talk. No, doing, doing a good job. Always love responding to you guys and uh, hoping you win bets. All right. Let's take a look. I always start with yards per play and opponent yards per play. And uh, this tells us a story. So, the opponent yards per play, uh, Jacksonville's defense is just getting shredded. They allow 6.0 yards per play for the season, third worst, and it's even a little bit worse in the last three games, 6.3 yards per play. That is amazing. That is basically telling you every two plays, they're getting the opponent is getting a first down. So uh, defense is bad, particularly the secondary. We'll get to the secondary um, in a bit here. Now, yards per play. We almost have to take this a little bit of grain of salt. So uh, how are we doing here, uh, yards per play? Well, New England, of course, is not very good. On the season, 4.3 yards per play. That is second worst. But there's a lot of games with Jacoby Brissett. How did they do last week? Well, it was a, it was an increase. It wasn't a huge in, increase, but they did get to 4.6 yards per play in Drake May's first game against Houston. Pretty good team. So... I think that's I think that says a lot for Drake May in his first game. That's a tough opponent, and uh, we increased the yards per play just a little bit. So uh, Jacksonville, five point five yards per play uh, on the season, and uh, six point two in the last three games. So Jacksonville getting yards has not been the problem. Uh, it has been the defense. So we take a look here at uh, the. I mean, last week I was. <laughs> Tell me if this sounds familiar. Last week, I was a little worried. Caleb Williams, rookie quarterback, going over London for the first time, playing Jacksonville's, who's used to playing in, in London. And that was a – it did not turn out how I thought it was going to. It didn't lose any bets, thank God. I just laid off the game. But Jacksonville's not scaring anybody, especially over in London. The Bears hang 35 points on to them. It was a, it was a beatdown. Jacksonville the week before, yeah, they beat the Colts, but Flacco comes in. You know, Flacco's going to start – just barely gets noticed on the day before that he's going to start. And he puts up 34 points on this Jacksonville team. I know a lot of it was at the end, but just Jacksonville defense just can't stop anybody before that against Texans 24 to 20. They lose before that. They just get throttled by the bills and never forget that this Jacksonville team lost to Cleveland uh, 18 to 13. So this Jacksonville team is really, really struggling. Now we look at the Patriots and, I guess you could say you kind of have to throw out some of the the stats from uh, before last week. I'm just noticing that their defense is getting a little bit worse. So when we're looking at opponents' yards per play, I mentioned that uh, New England gives up 5.7 yards per play. Here's the thing, though. It's trickling up to 5.9 in the last three. And when we look at the, the, the Patriots' defense, they give up 41 points to Houston. And I think one thing that Drake may is, is doing is it's making this, it's going to make this offense a little bit more open and a little bit more explosive. And I think they're going to be, I don't want to say in shootouts, but against Miami, that score was 15 to 10 with Jacoby Brissett, San Fran 30 to 13 against New York, 24 to 20. In fact, the highest point total that New England has scored was last week at 21 points. Which leads me into my bet for this game is going to be the over at 42. We've got Jacksonville's defense, who is absolutely sticking up the place. We've got New England's defense, who is slowly getting a little bit worse. We're getting Ramon J. Stevenson back for New England. I think that's going to help them sustain some more drives. And we've got this Jacksonville team that morale is at an all-time low. I don't even know if they have the talent on defense to make a big change. Coach is probably looking at losing his job. If they lose, there's not a lot of positive things to say about this. Last night, one of my bets on the uh, Denver game was to take the over. It got there miraculously, but we said it's going to be one of those messy, weird games where anything could happen. And I think this is one of those games, too, where anything could happen. 
Drake may threw for three touchdown passes in his debut against Houston. And that's going to lead to my player prop. I would look at Drake may to throw over one and a half touchdown passes at plus two thirty five. You're getting plus two thirty five to throw two touchdown passes against Jacksonville. Jacksonville has given up 13 touchdown passes in the last four weeks. Last four weeks, every quarterback has easily gone over this total, and you're getting a plus 235. Why? Because it's a rookie. Caleb Williams did it last week. Why? Because it's over in London. Caleb Williams did it this week. So this is the team that gives up the most passing touchdowns in the NFL. They've given up 14 uh, touchdowns this season, and 13 of them were in the last four weeks. So it, this is an over. I expect points, and I expect Drake May to throw at least two touchdown passes, even with Ramon J. Stevenson. So we're going to, uh, for the purposes of this video, we're going to take the over, and we're going to take Drake May over his props. All right. I mentioned to you guys that we do have a special. I always like to be transparent with you guys. Uh, and whether we win or lose, we talk about our results. 2024 has been going fantastic. 458 wins, 297 losses, plus 147.85 units. This was as of Monday. We always do our recap and our bankroll reset every Monday. So um, expect uh, expect another big weekend for that. What do we have up right now? We have a 5% PFL and UFC pack that is up. And we also have our college football plus NFL pack that is up. So if you want MMA, we've got a 5% pack for you. That's in the Battle of the Giants and Fight Night. And we have our college football best bet and our NFL plays. Four and one last couple of weeks in NFL, five and two in college football to start the season. So uh, doing really, really well in those 18 and six lifetime in college football plays. So that is up at wagertalk.com. I mentioned a deal if you want to get involved long term and you should want to get involved long term. You can get 2025 and we're going to discount down to 1799. That's uh, normally 1999. So you're getting $200 off and you're going to get the rest of 2024 completely free. We just went over that we're up almost 150 units on the year in 2024. And this is not just some fluky year. Last year we brought in 91 units for clients. So you're going to get the rest of 2024. That includes all 5% plays. Lock it in today and you're going to get the 5% UFC and PFL pack. That's up. You're going to get all the plays for college football and for NFL. So if you lock that in today, the quicker the savings start. And I, I cannot stress enough how much I recommend to get on board long term. The cost per day is just much, much less inexpensive. And the quicker you get it locked in, the more plays you're going to get to take advantage of this discount. So it's not a deal that that wager talk does uh, very often. So I would just highly recommend it. We stress long term. We stress long term. We have a long track record of uh, helping clients build their bankrolls. No matter your bankroll size, if it's smaller, we can help you build that thing up. If you currently have a really nice size bankroll, we can help you exponentially uh, increase that. So uh, if you want to take advantage of long term, do that over at Wager Talk. Uh, there's no promo code needed, but you can lock in all of 2025 for 1799 and you're going to get the rest of 2024, all those plays. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget, code word of the day to put in the comment section is straw. Give me your best bet. Uh, give me your best take. Shout out to the guy that uh, <laughs> he put a hilarious comment in the uh, the Denver uh, New Orleans game where he told me my pick in the Raiders Steelers game last week was terrible. Except I didn't I didn't do a video on that game and we had a nice little back and forth. So I always read the comments, uh, always respond to you guys because you guys are great. So uh, shout out to you guys. Good luck on your bets, and we will see everyone later.